guys, what's up? Gene here from Eagle Gaming, and this is episode number 9 of Mod Mondays, where every week we bring you 1 to 2 mods on Farming Simulator 2013, and then rate them over on a scale of 1 to 10. Now then, this week's episode, we will be featuring the GMC Top Pick and the PJ Gooseneck Trailer. Now then, these mods are both by the American Modding Company, um, and we are going to go over here. Uh, the PJ trailer is $10 a day of maintenance and a total cost of $7,800. Uh, it holds up to 22,400 pounds. Uh, the GMC top pick, which is not the regular truck. It is a 4x4 exclusive property of the American Iron Modding. That's the company and it doesn't have a maintenance, so I'm guessing there is none per day. And a total cost of $55,000. Now, then, first, we're actually going to look at this uh, GMC top pick. Uh, looking at it, it doesn't look too detailed at all. Uh, the only part of it is I think that they pretty much got the tire semi wet detailed. Uh, that's about it. There is no shadow like the trailer is, and like the rest of the uh, actually implements and tools within Farming Simulator. Uh, they got some pretty badass. Uh, stacks coming out of the back it looks like six, six inch chrome stacks um rolling coal because i've got the manual ignition mod um the hitch somewhat uh, i guess is halfway decent not by much though uh, if you take a look inside of it uh you can pretty much like hop on the truck you can pretty much go through the hood there's no motor in it whatsoever uh so we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside of it uh, it does have modest which modest is like a weight and we can go to the back of it that is a messed up gooseneck and a undetailed bed and we can't go inside of it but you can look inside of it right now it doesn't look too detailed it looks pretty much like junk uh, we'll rate this later now then moving on we have the PGA uh, 40 foot gooseneck trailer uh, it does have some good detail to it uh, it's got the reflection uh, lights, I guess, uh, what you'd call them. Uh, you have the ramps. Uh, it's pretty much well designed as a regular gooseneck would, like a big Tex. Um, gooseneck trailer is one of the main brands out there for gooseneck and trailers in general. But it does have a shadow. So uh, let's hook it up to this, and it does go straight to the bed. So that's going to be another uh, count. And it does pull with Monus off, semi decent, I guess. Um, does like have a top speed of approximately? Oh boy, yeah, let's put it on some Monus. Put it on ten, about forty-five miles an hour. Okay, now then we are going to load up some tractors and see what they do. And where it says fold type description, that's going to be a count off on the trailer. And we're going to go ahead and load a Dutes. I think it's the largest one in the uh, game, like loaded by default. And I was going to back this on, but it probably take too much time. It's kind of like a reflection. I mean, it doesn't on the trailer. It doesn't look too good. I hold it when I go through the bars all the way. Shut that off. Hop out. And let's load a mod tractor. This actually does look quite detailed, even though we're not going over this one. We probably will in the future, though. I wonder how hard these ones are to actually back up. All I know is I'm getting a long way from the trailer to try and back up. Oh boy. Um, oh, there we go. Come on a little bit more, and we're going to call it right here. Alrighty. Now, this right here probably is exceeding the max weight limit on this trailer in real life ok 
Okay, the modest is on 10. So we need to probably bump it up to roughly about 25. And we're gonna take this thing for a spin. And this truck is floating on air. Wow, okay. It's like a hovercraft, even though it doesn't hover, the truck. That way it's probably pretty much close to mm, roughly 6,000 pounds, probably, three tons. Uh, it does seem to actually be handling pretty good. Uh, if we do turn Modus off, it'll probably raise up and be like a drag. Yep, it does. Let's turn Modus back off, or put it back on. And I mean, it does seem like the trailer is actually a fairly overall good mod. I wish it had actually more uh, modded trucks to pull it with, because I would use it a whole lot more. But with this GMC uh, top pick, it is very undetailed, uh, and it doesn't look good behind the trailer. So we are going to be stopping it right here. And overall let's let the dust clear. This actually does, it's a half decent truck. It's going to be rated at a 5 out of 10. Because uh, the detail, the detail inside, it floats on air, there's no shadow. Uh, do I need to go on? Probably not. Um, on the other hand, the PJ trailer is going to be rated a 9 out of 10. Uh, just because of the uh, slight like reflection. I mean, it's supposed to reflect if it's like chrome or uh, stuff like that. It does sometimes glimmer, like the board does glimmer, but I guess it's just a glitch with the trailer. Overall, it's a good trailer. Uh, if you guys do want to download these, they will be links in the description below. I don't really have anything planned for next week's episode, but uh, go ahead and uh, check my Twitter out if you guys haven't already. And uh, later.